Some Austin City Council members want more transparency as it relates to a former colleague's new job. Jimmy Flanagan is president of the local government corporation that oversees the city-owned Hilton Hotel. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark pressed city officials about the dollars involved. The day after Jimmy Flanagan lost his runoff election, Austin Convention Enterprises reached out to him about becoming its president. And I'm a right guy for this job. According to his contract, Flanagan makes $140,000 a year working part time. But the organization's board chair says in the months leading up to the runoff, no one would take the job. We were in desperate straits. ACE, as it's called, is set up to develop and finance the city-owned Hilton Hotel through voter-approved bonds. Flanagan says his job is everything from high-level strategy to scheduling board meetings. There's a lot of work around building maintenance and, and negotiating who pays for what. What a better candidate than a former city council member that was involved in overseeing the convention center and the hotel. Some city council members are less sure. The issue came up Thursday when council gave ACE permission to apply for a federal paycheck protection program loan for frontline Hilton Hotel staff. Council appoints the ACE board members who hired Flanagan. He was on the council when those members were appointed. More than one council member called it awkward. It is an unusual thing for the board of, a, of an organization, of a um, it's not a local government corporation, but another entity that is that is like a local government corporation to extend an offer of employment to a council member while that person is is actually still a member of councils. Bill Oakey is a taxpayer advocate. It's an ethical concern. It's a conflict of interest concern. City code only says a former city official shall not within 12 months represent a person or entity that pays them before the city on matters over which the person had discretionary authority as a city official. It's not clear whether that applies to council members, but a city spokesperson tells KXAN at least one council member has asked the law department for clarity. We had our council investigate whether there's a revolving door uh, ordinance in the city of Austin or any similar prohibition against reaching out to Jiminy or hiring. And the conclusion was no. You don't see any issues with optics? Optics are, are what you make of them. Kevin Clark, KXAN investigates. Austin City Council member Leslie Poole says she wants to learn about the dollars ACE is spending in front of the council's audit and finance committee. Flanagan says he would welcome the transparency. Today we